In today's news, Jamal Hill reveals the extent of the injuries that forced him out of UFC 303. Taken to Instagram, he shared his current pains, writing, Two tears in my meniscus, sprained my ACL, a baker cyst that leaked fluid in the back of my knee, and a infusion in some joints. There were actually three of these. This is only making me hungrier. Be back soon. Kobe Covington mocks Michael Chandler. With the Conor vs. Chandler fight being cancelled, a fan suggested that Chandler should fight Kobe instead of waiting for McGregor. The fan wrote, Chandler vs. Kobe. To this, Chandler responded, I'd embarrass that garbage bin. Now, taking to his Instagram, Colby mocked Mike Chandler with this clip. UFC legends Colby Covington and Michael Chandler. Michael can say whatever he wants. He still believes he's fighting Conor McGregor. He's not even fighting Conor McGregor, so he knows deep down inside. I'm right. definitely Zuckerberg. fighting Conor McGregor. All right, guys, here I am again. Conor McGregor is out of 303 versus Michael Chandler. Kamar Usman and Henry Cejudo react to Conor McGregor's injury. Speaking on the Pound for Pound podcast, Kamaru and Henry shared their thoughts on Conor McGregor's withdrawal from UFC 303. But the fact that Conor McGregor has to pull out, that's actually a really good sign. He's probably killing a little bit of his ego, and now he's taking it a lot more serious than ever. He's at that point where I want to make sure that I'm 100%. There's no such thing as 100%. As fighters, we always go in there with bumps and bruises. If you can get in there at closer to 80, almost any fighter is going to be happy with something like that. You're right. It's something that's significant enough for Conor McGregor to say, you know what? I want to put out the best possible product out there. On the flip side, Michael Chandler now once again is sitting twiddling his thumbs. There's a lot of things that go into a fight like this. There's a lot of preparation and it seems like it just continues to be pulled away. It's like dangling a carrot in front of him. It sucks, but good on Connor for being able to say, you know what? I'm not prepared enough to go in there. Dana White opens up on Connor McGregor's withdrawal. Dana White just did an interview with the Sports Business Journal and was asked whether he was disappointed with the McGregor fight being canceled. He said, it's the business man, this is the way it goes, and from here on I'm not going to talk about it until when he's healed and he's right, then we'll look at the landscape and see what we can figure out. Footage of Alex Pereira accepting the UFC 303 fight offer on two weeks notice. With McGregor being out, Dana White has announced that a rematch between current light heavyweight champion Alex Pereira and former champ Yuri Prohaska is set to take place as the new main event for UFC 303. Alex has shared a clip of where he is seen accepting the fight on two weeks notice. You can watch the full video on his YouTube channel. Let's go. Las Vegas. Ariel Hawani snaps back at Michael Bisping. Recently, Ariel has been digging extra deep, doing his best to uncover bits of intel surrounding the Conor McGregor vs. Michael Chandler fight situation. While speaking on the Believe You Me podcast, Bisping noted how Ariel was risking it all and being nosy. Ariel Helwan is out there. A lot of the time he's posting and tweeting like he's an expert on everything, but he knows nothing. He's putting feelers out there because that's what he wants to do. That's his badge of honor. He likes to break news. If I hear of a situation, I'm not doing investigative journalism, <laughs> trying to find out like my life depends on it and I will risk everything so I can be the one to break it because who gives a f and it's none of your business. What will be will be. Stay out of it, you prick. In response, 
While on the Ringer MMA show, Ariel fired back at Bisping, calling him a bootlicker. Michael Bisping, who I see him talking about me with such vitriol, with such animosity, with such hatred, where he's talking about like, it's none of my business. And I just, I'm dying to know, and I'm dying to be first. Well, hopefully the video that I posted of me walking outside at 2.30 would refute that, dying to be first. The idea that it's none of my business, it's quite literally my business to be reporting and be in the know. That's journalism. And he says like, I'm not trying to be some investigative journalist. Yeah, I know you're not trying to be some investigative journalist. You're a slap fighting comic. Commentator. You're a bootlicker. You're, you're a former bad boy who became a bootlicker who wants to stay in good standing and has realized, like the likes of Ali Abdelaziz, that it's better for you and your career in your pocket and more power to you to be on Dana's good side. So if he could see these clips, he'll be like, good on you, Mike. And so you have chosen to pick a fight with me or to discredit me in order to curry favor with your boss who gives you a few quid to commentate and be excited about slap fighting. To me, it's shameful. It's embarrassing. And that's why I refer to him as bootlicker Bisping now. And he can say whatever the fuck he wants about me. Chael Sonnen vs. Anderson Silva boxing match result. The Chael Sonnen vs. Anderson Silva boxing match went the distance. Here's the final moments of the clash. No judges at the venue, the bout between the two UFC legends was declared a draw. I thought I won the first three rounds. I mean, you have to understand, he let me win the first one. He always lets me win the first round. That's like one of his strategies. He feels you out. He lets everybody win the first round. And I did the same thing in rounds two and three that I did in the first round. But I slipped somewhere in the fourth round, and then they brought the doctor in at some point because I had a bloody nose or something. It's like, come on, you're making this look way worse than it is. It was three rounds to two. I thought I won that fight. Time for today's top memes. Third place was found over on Reddit and was posted by Lenny Koopster. Second place meme was found over on X and was posted by Dovey Simu MMA. And the top picked meme was found over on X and was posted by Ricky Doobie. Thanks for watching. If you like the content, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to stay in the talk.